What is up, guys? So welcome back to another episode of Madden 17 Draft Champions. We are back, and we're facing off against K once again. And this time, guess what we're going to be doing, man? We're basically going to be deciding, you know, who has the most Super Bowl appearances compared to who has the least Super Bowl appearances. So uh, K will be drafting the guys with the most Super Bowl appearances. I will be drafting the team with the least Super Bowl appearances. So there's a lot of great players who haven't made the Super Bowl. So... Um, I thought it'd be a higher quality of players that I'll get to choose. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into the draft. All right, so here is the coaches round. Chuck Pagano, Chip Kelly, and Gus Bradley. So that is the Jaguars. That is the 49ers. That is the Colts. Let's see which one has the least Super Bowl appearances. So the team with the least Super Bowl appearances is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, so obviously, we have to pick Gus Bradley here. No debate. Vertical offense and a 4-3 defense. And I, of course, you know what round number one is. And we see the Lions, the Ravens, and the Saints. So the team with the least Super Bowl wins is. So the team with the least Super Bowl appearances is, uh, of course, the Detroit Lions. They have zero. So obviously, we get ourselves a great wide receiver in Herman Moore. All right, round number two, let's go. Jaguars, the Broncos, and the Jets. This one is also another no-brainer. It's the Jaguars. So we got ourselves a middle linebacker. Okay, it's rolling again. So, so far, it's a good start to this one. We see the Bengals, the Eagles, and the Seahawks. We know about the Seahawks. Uh, we know about the Eagles. I'm pretty sure this one is the Cincinnati Bengals. So we're going to go with Anthony Munoz at left tackle here with the Cincinnati Bengals. They have two Super Bowl appearances. So that's the least on this one. So that's, that's who we're getting, man. That's who we're picking up here at left tackle. All right, we see round number four. We see the Bills. We're not even going to look at the Patriots. And we see the Chicago Bears. So it looks like we're getting ourselves a Chicago Bear in Pernell McPhee. So we're getting ourselves a left outside linebacker. Perfect pickup since we haven't picked, since we haven't drafted one yet. Round number five, we see the Redskins, the Raiders, and the Bengals. Now, I'm pretty sure it is def most, it's most definitely the Bengals. It has to be the Bengals. So we're getting ourselves Andy Dalton here. We get ourselves a quarterback. So I actually have really surprised and happy with this pick. All right, so here we see the Chargers, the Rams, and the Eagles. I think this one's pretty obvious. Um, I want to say it's pretty obvious. Um, but we're actually getting Mante Teo, man. He, in my previous draft, he was great. He had, you know, a couple sacks and interceptions. So I'm actually really happy we're getting um, Mante Teo, even though we already have a middle linebacker. Round number seven, we see the Jags, and that's who we're getting. We're getting another wide receiver in Allen Robinson. So we have Herman Moore and we have Allen Robinson. So we're having pretty, a pretty fairly, you know, balanced team so far. Arizona Cardinals only have one appearance, so it is obviously them. We're getting ourselves, <sighs> yep, another middle linebacker. Just what I needed. Here we see the Packers, the, the Chiefs, and the Eagles. So we know about the Packers, and as far uh, and we know about the Eagles as well. So this one definitely goes to the Chiefs. I'm pretty confident. All right, so here we're going to be getting the Cincinnati Chiefs. So we're getting ourselves another wide receiver. So far, we drafted three middle linebackers and three wide receivers, man. I need this draft to switch up for me, please. And it looks like, I think this was the Buccaneers. Uh, I'm not, you know, a football expert, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the Buccaneers. And like I said, it is the Buccaneers, so we get to choose. Really, we have two to choose from, man. I'm definitely not getting, I'm definitely not getting another middle linebacker. So this was pretty obvious. We're going to get Robert Ayers Jr. at left end. All right, here we see DeAndre Hopkins. Mitchell Schwartz and Demario Davis. Uh, now, I wouldn't mind a right tackle since we have like three wide receivers, but obviously the Texans made the least Super Bowl appearances out of these three, and that is zero, not a zilch. You get my point. So we're getting ourselves uh, another wide receiver. So wide receivers were kind of, we're pretty good on so far. We're getting ourselves DeAndre Hopkins. Wow, Raiders made quite a few appearances. Um, surprised me a little bit, but we're getting Larry Wilson. So this is another pick, which, well, this is actually one of the best picks so far because we don't have a free safety, guys. So uh, Larry Wilson, man, welcome to the team. All right, here we see David Johnson, Sammy Coast, and Gary Barnage. Um, we know about uh, Sammy Coast, very solid wide receiver, 82 overall. And, uh, but this is about, you know, the fewest Super Bowl appearances. And that is Gary Barnage playing with the Cleveland Browns at tight end. So this one is kind of confusing because it says NFL on him. 
And I believe the NFL does have uh, Super Bowls every year. So NFL has 100% um, Super Bowl appearances. So I can't really pick him. He has the most. The Redskins actually have a really good amount of Super Bowl appearances as well. So it seems like I have to get TJ McDonald, man. Um, the NFL, they have an appearance at the Super Bowl every year. The Rams have the, the fewest Super Bowl appearances. So here we are going to get ourselves the Baltimore Raven. Uh, obviously, you guys know about the Patriots and the Cowboys. Uh, but we do get ourselves a defensive tackle, a position that we really don't have. Um, we haven't drafted at all. So we're getting ourselves a pretty good solid position here. A guy that's going to get to the quarterback and get us some sacks. So here is my team, as you guys see. Um, only draft one offensive lineman, but my wide receivers are pretty stacked. Herman Moore, Allen Robinson, DeAndre Hopkins. Um, we didn't end up drafting a halfback, which is kind of concerning, but it uh, looks like we're going to have to run a lot of shotgun. We do have a very solid tight end as well, so our passing is going to have to be uh, a, you know what I'm saying, it's going to have to be an A grade. It's going to have to be the best possible because we can't rely on a running game. So my defense, uh, it's you could say it's well-rounded. I don't have any corners whatsoever. But we have, you know, decent linebackers. We have a fairly decent line, and we have, uh, you know, a fairly decent uh, secondary. You know, but I'm happy with the fact that we have two very solid safeties. So that's going to help a lot with the passing game. Uh, slap it, dude! All right, but we're going to go with Mike Tomlin here. Plus, he has the most Super Bowl wins. Titans are at the bottom of the list. So it's between two Colts. We're obviously going to go with the wide receiver, Marvin Harrison. Cowboys got five Super Bowls, guys. We get Travis Frederick here. What, how much do they have over here, says? Five. That we should have. That's obvious. Looks like we looks like we're gonna get Dante Moncrief, the Tuesday night card. Another Colt, the other two. Panthers, obviously, they lost Super Bowl. That was one of their only appearances. I think they lost to the Pats also. But as most of you guys know, the Raiders looks like we're gonna go with the lone winner here. And Vincent Jackson, our third receiver. We gotta go with an 82 trade flag. We go with Terrence Newman, the corner. Sorry, Vikings fans. The Seahawks have one more appearance than the Chiefs, so we go with the left end. We go with um, the Bills, who lost four. I wanted Ezekiel, man, but whoa, we get Derek Johnson. These two teams didn't make it to one Super Bowl. We get another strong safety. It is an elite, but I did want Travis Kelsey, as we already had a strong safety. Oh, it's Sammy Coates. That's obvious, guys. An 82 receiver, 90 speed, however. Got multiple, multiple rings. So we get 87 of our Bowman. Like, that's actually insane. I've that That's actually extremely insane. I've never seen 390 overalls unless it was on Tuesdays. All yep, right, Wilson. We have the creator of footballs. Woo! The on the no, very no, first play. No. We're at the no. 40. The 30. Oh. We're going to go all the oh. way to the house. The creator of football. Let's go. I can't believe Wilson. it. Give right? It it's you. like the. Remember, it's the Super Bowl. Devin Hester did that, even though they lost the moment. So hopefully ours doesn't go like Devin yeah. Hester. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh! Crap. Boy, I'm about to get you, boy. Ah. Like what? Yep, just like that. Oh my! <laughs> so there was two people. We trailing. got it all day, man. All day. Let's go. Huh. Yes. No, nope. mine. Oh! oh! oh don't give me that. I knew I was oh gonna get one. Oh my gosh! Lee Williams Yo. with the play. I remember this. I remember how this started. I know more. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Great catch, Sammy. Get him Did down, dude. Come it? on. Like, dude. You ready to go screen? Yeah, yeah. Screen. And by screen, that's a first down by Sammy. Wait, Breaking come tackles. on, really? I think you're hacked. Boy, that's Marvin Harrison. Wow, Beautiful catch. really? Come on. Game Manning's go-to. Oh. Yeah, All right. I'm also about this oh. Whoop. Got him on the mini stick route. Sammy Coates oh. is on fire. He needs to put on a fire coat to, to put off the fire. Boy, no, he's not putting off any fire. Squad. Screen, screen, yep. screen. Blocking to time. Oh, stay up. Oh. Yep, yep. Use that oh, speed, son. Ooh. Bow. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Get off me. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, now. 
Can't count me out, man. Don't ever count me out. We need another stop, y'all. We need another stop. Ah, I'm gonna throw <laughs> bloody bad Throw an interception, say it. Throw an interception. Man, man. We got this, y'all. We coming in, clutch. Yup. Yup. Touchdown. Mmm. Mmm. That's what I need to see. Let's go. Herman Moore, my man. Oh! That was so unclutch. Uh, no, not this time. Not this time, not this time. Take your Mente Teo. Hey, didn't I tell you Mente Teo had an interception last game and he has another one now? Alright, yeah. Woo! Oh, I over pursued it. I over pursued it, my bad. Yup. <laughs> what a catch! Hey! This thing got speared in midair! Hey! I don't know what this is. I see it before. Yeah. Watch the cross in there. I see a touchdown. Oh! Oh my gosh! That was a touchdown if that was a good throw. You gotta watch the run this time. You gotta watch the run. My offense is playing awful. You gotta step in. You gotta watch the run. Oh no! Good block, good block. Set that block. Why do I always do that? Good block! Oh, oh! Oh! Yes! Of course! It finally got him! It finally freaking got him! You're just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm telling you, it's a screen. I know it. I know it for a fact. Do all you want. Yep, I'm out here. Take it back, man, Tay Tayo! Wow! I see you! Dude, that was my... That was, that was like my fourth pick. Yes, sir! I don't even deserve that. Yes! Sir, I'm just gonna hold the ball, make sure nothing happened. I'm not even gonna run it. Yeah, I will take my win, man. I threw four picks that. I threw four picks that game. That was terrible. Told y'all, man. So as you guys see, man, man, Tay Tayo had to be the MVP of the game. Tayo you know, was even funny. though uh, Herman Moore was killing, and so was uh, Gary Barnage. Man, Tay Tayo had two interceptions, and one was late in the game. It was clutch. It ended up the end of the last drive of the game, and. You know, I'm, I'm happy to get this win, man. It's a bounce back win, and uh, I feel like uh, I can learn something from this and uh, take it to the next game. You know, keep take you know the lessons I've learned in this game and take it with me on the next game and the next game and the next game, right? That's uh, that makes sense, okay? Yeah, it makes sense. All right, cool. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you boys, and sign it out. Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. Million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.